Today's video, I'm going to show you the best blitz in Madden 24. And this is pretty much the best blitz of the year. This is blitz of the year, in my opinion. And I'm going to explain in this video how to create the ultimate, ultimate disguise out of this blitz as well, which I think is actually really, really important. So what you're going to want to do is we're in dollar. This is in the Kansas City Chiefs defensive playbook. If you want to get my full defensive ebook, go ahead and join the Patreon. We show you how to stop everything, literally everything. We show you how to adjust to the best formations of the world, take you a little bit more in depth into the blitzing aspects of the defense, different ways to run it. All of my ebooks are available by being a Patreon member for one price of $10. $10 gets you access to all of the offensive and defensive ebooks. And again, those are going to be linked in the description. Okay, so let's talk about the best blitz defense in Madden, why it is the best blitz defense and how to set this up. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to make sure that you have DB Fire 2 in your audibles. Okay, really, really important. The next thing is you want to make sure auto flip defense play call is set to off. Auto alignment is set to base. And if you are going to have your defense on base align, it's also really important to make sure that you do not have your zone coverage on match. You want that you want it to be on default. Okay. What we're going to do is we are going to come out in the play free safety zone blitz. Okay. Free safety zone blitz is the play we're coming out in. And there's a really, really important reason. If you really wanted to, you could come out in double safety go as well but i i mean and i'll show you why so basically what we're going to do i'll actually come out and double safety go you just want to come out in a play with at least the left side safety blitzing okay so if i come out and double safety go then i can audible to free safety zone blitz now when i audible to free safety zone blitz if i press i want you to look at what happens okay you see here that it's a man-to-man -man press this is why you would not come out in, in double safety go so just keep that in mind but anyways let's go ahead and come out in free safety zone blitz. So it's easier if you just come out in free safety zone blitz. I just want to say you can come out in double safety. You just need to come out in basically not DB fire. Okay? So we come out in free safety zone blitz. Now we have a choice. We can either audible to DB fire two, or we can stay in free safety zone blitz. Okay? So we come out in free safety zone blitz. If you're going to stay in free safety zone blitz, you're going to press and back off the right side slot corner. Press. Back off the right side slot corner. That's your that's that's your like main adjustment you need to get in. Then pinch your D line, put the safety on the left in a hook curl and shade underneath. This defense will stop the majority of people that you play, and you will see that this blitz oftentimes is going to scream right up the middle, right up the A gap. The best way to block this specific blitz in this game is to double team the defensive tackle. So they double team the defensive tackle. Oftentimes this picks the blitz up as you see. So once you start to get this blitz picked up, let's say you want to send some more pressure. What you're going to do is you are going to, there's two options you have. If you know that they are double teaming the defensive tackle and they are sending five out, I want you to audible to DB fire two, and you're going to press pinch your D line and you're still going to back that slot corner up. And then you are going to put him in whatever coverage you want. So like we will base, I would basically turn the coverage back into the cover three, but you see this, is what it looks like. The main purpose of audibly DB fire is to get that slot corner blitz angle. And what you'll see is if they double team that defensive tackle, oftentimes the blitz will come up or come off the edge on the left-hand side. And I'll show that again. So, and I'll show it in real time, how I would do it. So I'd audible to DB fire. Boom, boom. There would be no tell because it would look like I was just basically pressing the defense, right? And then they double team, they double team this defensive tackle. And as you see right there, we get a four man screamer off the edge if they're sending five out. Now, the the other thing here is let's say they start to let's say they start to do things like, okay, they're starting to block their running back. Okay, they're starting to block their running back. So we're still only sending four, but they're gonna block their running back now. And they're gonna double team. I want you to look at this. See how the running back comes over and pick up the slot corner. So what I like to do in that situation is we are going to send five. So if they are doing this, we are doing that, right? So the way that we send five out of this is we're going to be back in free safety zone blitz. And we're going to actually just hot blitz the slot corner on the left, like with a, with an individual adjustment. So now they block the running back and you see oftentimes this slot corner can come in off of the left-hand side of the screen. 
Now, let's say they do a lot of adjustments and they're able to block the blitz off of the left side of the screen. This is where it's going to get kind of interesting what we're going to do. So, so we're going to audible to DB Fire 2 and everything is exactly the same, right? It's going to look like this. We're going to blitz our user too. I think it helps with the pressure. But how are they going to pass protect? Typically what happens uh, in terms of their pass protection is they are going to double team this guy and they're going to ID this guy. That's probably the best way to do it. So what I like to do is hot blitz the corner on the right side. So you can see, see that right there. We're just going to hot blitz this corner off the right. And as you can see, a lot of times he'll come in. He didn't come in right there. If he doesn't come in, I'll show you one other thing you can do that's like pretty underrated. So we audible to DB fire too. We're going to back that slot corner off. We're actually going to leave him blitzing. And now what you see is it holds the running back to the right side of the screen. So by blitzing somebody from the right side when they are doing their adjustments, oftentimes it will hold the running back on the right side of the screen. So you see here again, if we set the defense off like this, now I want you to look here to the right. You see there, it gives you a really good chance for that guy to come in off the left side. So the beauty of this is we're only sending five. Now, another way that you can kind of accomplish the same basic thing would be to audible to spinner. Now, the only problem with audibling to spinner is as you can see, there's a clear tell that we're in spinner if we press. But you can kind of do create the same basic thing out of DB Fire. Just blitz this linebacker. I got to throw the ball away. But I'll show you that as well. So let's say you're you're blitzing that right side corner, but it's really not. There's not a lot of consistency in you. You want your pressure to come in a little bit more, and you're pretty sure that they're not double team, and you're pretty sure they're just doing a basic slide protection. Go ahead and blitz the linebacker on the left side, and then we can create, you know, a coverage that looks something like this, right? Oops, I'll show you. And now the running back will get kind of held by the linebacker, and they're going to feel that pressure. It might not come in 100%. But they're definitely going to feel the pressure aspect of that. I think a really underrated thing that a lot of people are not doing right now is this simple, this simple version of the defense out of DB Fire instead of being in free safety zone blitz because a lot of times the main pass pro is to slide right, maybe ID left, but typically slide right. And you see you're just doing essentially basically an overload blitz at that point. Um, one last thing on that that I did want to cover just real quick, and you could do it out of DB Fire, but you could also do it out of other plays in this playbook, one of them being Overload 3 Seam, which I think kind of gets a bad rap. We'll cover that real quick. And then also, um, let me see if I have it, the Strong Eagle Slant 3. Okay. So you start to add some of these other little blitzes in, and this is why I love Dollar, because there's just so many ways to create pressure out of this. But we'll go into Strong Eagle Slant 3. And we're just going to pinch our D-line. So you see it looks just like free safety zone blitz. But now, you know, we're in, a, we're in a defense that looks like this. All we're going to do is shade underneath. And if you just take a look at the concept, if they slide right and ID here, sometimes you get this linebacker coming through the gap or around the running back for pressure. So it's just another way to create the same basic thing, um, you know, from this. So, again, if we were to – if we're in free safety zone blitz, for example, and then let's say we audible to strong eagle – um, and I unbaseline by mistake. And all we're going to do is just pinch our D line. If you want to crash them to the right, be my guest. But basically, you know, if they're if they're starting to, one of the most meta pass protections would be to ID this right side slot corner. Well, if they're doing that, a lot of times this guy comes right through the B gap, as you see right there. So, anyways, it's just another method, but it's really, really, a, I think, a pretty effective, uh, just in terms of creating different types of blitzes out of the same look. Because the important thing in defense is that you make everything always look the same. So you want to be in free safety zone blitz. But then, again, and, and what I would probably do is, as soon as I come out of the huddle, I'd then audible to DB fire two, and then I'd press, and then we're still doing this back off of the slot corner. It's just now we, we might be in DB fire running the defense like, like this even, for example, which I think, you know, again, because they're slight. We're just trying to essentially – mess with their pass protection once they start to try to adjust to our blitz. So you see right there, and we're able to get the get the five-man pressure, and all we did there was just crash down. Another thing you can do from this, which is really underrated as well, 
is you can create a double Mabel coverage. So the way that you would do that is you take this, you can put your flats on uh, 30, for example, and you're going to take this left side safety, put them in a purple, put the slot corner in a purple like this, shade down, shade underneath like this, and then you're going to basically play cover three like so. And it looks kind of wonky, but this is a true double Mabel coverage. So now we have... Basically, the sideline's covered. We're sitting in the middle of the field. Um, another thing we could do is we could deep half here on the left side, and then we could basically be responsible for the right side flat if we wanted to do that. Um, you know, Or, I mean, we could even do a defense that looks something like this, which I think is perfectly fine. It's kind of an inverted Mabel coverage, but it's the same exact look of our pressures, and now they're not going to be able to throw their short corner into the sideline of the defense. So there's so much you can do, guys, in dollar, um, which is which is why it just continues to show that it's really good. But I think the best way to be running it is to be still, uh, you know, running running it kind of with this key front right here, because this front allows us to do things such as this, which is a really underrated thing to do at a DB fire that overloads these blitzes off the edge. So thanks for watching the video. I hope it was helpful. If you want to get my entire dollar defensive ebook, link is going to be in the description.